My name is Irwin Jackson, 1341 Jackson Bluff. During the past two years, I've tried to expose what I believe is the self-serving actions of our Mayor John Marks. The Honeywell Smart Meter Program is a clear example of how a corrupt politician can use public service to become wealthy. What we're looking at here is Form 8B. This is a signed statement by Mayor Marks that confirms he has been taking money from Honeywell and, Jan and Johnson Control since September 22, 2004. I gave this document to the Tallahassee Democrat a couple weeks ago, and uh, they wrote a report. I was on vacation, but I was glad to see it. And they concluded with me that Marx's vote was simply textbook conflict. That's what I've been saying for the last year, year and a half. Why would Honeywell want to hire the mayor? Well, what you see is this is the amount of payments that Honeywell has received. The year before the mayor was hired, the city gave Honeywell $302,000 worth of contracts. After hiring the mayor, the uh, number of contracts went that year to $243 million, and over the last six years, it's been almost $54 million. That may be just a coincidence. I don't know. City Attorney Jim English, after doing exhaustive research, he provided a letter to uh, the mayor, and he concluded that the mayor's had no prohibitive conflict of interest regarding voting to give this money to Honeywell. How many city contractors are now paying our mayor? Thanks to, thanks to a number of private citizens, it has been brought to the light by the newspapers, radio stations, TV, and the FBI that there's quite a few Unfortunately, the mayor will not state exactly how many city contractors he's working with. We do know that he was getting 86,000 from ADE, and he was trying to give ADE, a company in Georgia, $761,000. We know by his own admission, he's being paid by Honeywell, a city contractor. Johnson Controls, a city contractor. How much money, Mr. Mayor, are you getting paid? We have asked you repeatedly. I put in public information requests. Excuse me, your I time has expired. I want to know how many city contractors you're being paid for, how long you've worked with them, and how much you're being paid. I'm, I'm going to answer you your question. Much. I appreciate it. I'm going to answer your question in anticipation of your, your regularly scheduled appearance. These are all facts, sir. And you can sit down. Thank you very much. In anticipation of your regularly scheduled Preparance, I prepared a response. First of all, I've received no funds, no payments at all from Honeywell. Let me repeat that. I have received no funds, no payments at all from Honeywell. And in any circumstances when I was required to do so, I have recused myself. So with regards to any other accusations that you have outlined here, they are outlandish, they are preposterous, they are untrue, and I will, you will find out that they are untrue, and it's not worthy of any further response from you, Mr. Mr. Johnson, from me to you. They are wrong. You are wrong. Right. Sit down. Thank you. Next witness. Next speaker, please. 